Hi, everyone, and welcome to another session of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I am JB setting up the machine for Jeremy Hellickson. The Arizona Diamondbacks starting pitchers had some time to sit down and get FaceTime with fans. Fans, get your webcam fired up. Get Jeremy ready to go here in the cage. Uh, Jeremy, how are you feeling? Are you looking forward to the cage? W what do you anticipate uh, every time you take your BP sessions? <laughs> uh, I'm feeling really good right now. Um, you know, spring is going well. You know, I'm really, enjo really enjoying myself over here. You know, I love, you know, love being here. Um, you know, as far <laughs> really haven't taken much BP to tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, we've. Uh, <laughs> um, taking some off the tee and in the cage, um, you know, I really haven't seen too much live pitching. You know, I thought I was going to hit the other day. Um, you know, kind of glad I didn't. I think you know, <laughs> Jonathan Gray was out there throwing upper 90, so um, you know, I wasn't too mad about that. But um, you know, looking looking forward to uh, you know getting some abs. But right now, we really we really haven't taken too much BP. All right. Well, we will set up this chatting cage probably with a little slimmer, a little less than Gray style uh, 90 mile an hour fastballs. We'll keep things uh, <laughs> on uh, on the All ground. Right. Uh, Speed appropriate, let's say. Fans, I know, get fired up, ask you questions directly. I'm going to go to social media, Twitter, in the meantime, while fans get their webcams fired up. And you talked about it a little bit, but let's okay. Daniel Thorpe 88 wants to know specifically for you, what's the biggest difference between spring training in Florida, spring training Arizona? Um, you know, really just how dry it is out here. Mm. Um, you know, the ball carries a little bit more. Um, but, you know, uh, being in Scottsdale is, you know, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed my time in Port Charlotte, but, you know, Scottsdale is uh, a lot nicer. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it over here. The Scottsdale Tourism Board is happy to hear that here in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Thank you to Jeremy Hellickson for that. Fans, get fired up. Join us right here in the cage. Otherwise, we use Twitter. Oh, there we go. we got a fan <laughs> with us right now. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for Mr. Hellickson? Hey, Jeremy, this is Tim from Colorado. What's your favorite thing at spring training? What's my favorite thing? Yeah. So what's my favorite thing in spring training? F yeah, favorite thing um, about spring training. Uh, you know, I really don't have a favorite thing about spring training. You know, just uh, <laughs> looking forward to the year. But I think, uh, you know, being over here with a new team and new organization, I think, uh, you know, just really enjoyed meeting new guys and, um, you know, just hanging out with the guys during the games. There you go, and that is something for you that this uh, this spring training is unique in that way, as you do have that first time with the Diamondbacks. That'll lead me back to Twitter uh, and a pretty uh, solid handle. Mullen loves Diamondbacks. What's the most interesting thing you've learned <laughs> about Chip Hale? The most interesting thing, um, you know, just just how uh, great of a motivator he is. You know, he's a uh, you know, we've had a few meetings where I came out of there just, you know, real fired up to, to get going and, you know, just, uh, you know, how much he believes in us and as, in our team. And, um, you know, he really, really shows that when he talks. And, um, you know, just, just, can't, just looking forward to playing for him. Uh, it's certainly exciting out there in the desert as Chip Hale and Jeremy Helkson get set up for the 2015 season. Spring training underway. Beautiful Scottsdale. That leads us now to the EDJ question of the day. A hard-hitting one. Jeremy Hellickson, better teammate, Paul Goldschmidt, or Will Ferrell? <laughs> um, I don't think, uh, you know, you can have a better teammate than, than Goldschmidt. You know, I've only been around him for, you know, a, a month or so, and, you know, he's... <clears throat> You know, he's the most humble superstar I've ever been around. Um, you know, he's a great, great teammate, great player. You know, he's you know great clubhouse guy. Um, you know, he's he's just awesome to be around. Um, you know, Will Ferrell is, you know, he's pretty funny in left field, though. He was, that was a good time. <laughs> I think, but I'm going to go with Goldie. Uh, I think uh, Goldie probably is the choice. Will will have to... Uh, Work towards next spring. See if you can make the club turn into better fielding out there uh, next year. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, he, he missed a few fly balls out there, so <laughs> we, weren't, we weren't too happy. I like that. That's any, just like any rookie, he's got to prove his mettle. That's exactly the way it should be. 
Uh, I'll go back to Twitter now and follow up on that so we know Goldie's on the roster. Um, this one is from Burlat Baller. Who is the D-backs hitter you would like to least face? Hmm. Well, I've faced Cody Ross a few times. Um, you know, and he has a few home runs, so... <laughs> Not really sure how many ABs he has off me, but um, he's he's not a guy I like to face. You know, when we we're on different teams. There you have it, folks. Cody Ross is the answer to that one. He's gotten uh, gotten some work done. Let's go back to um, Steal Your Girl wants to know what will be the hardest adjustment for you going from the AL to the NL. Um. You know, probably just, you know, obviously the batting, um, you know, just trying to figure out how to, you know, pace myself, I guess, or how hard I need to run to first base or, <laughs> um, you know, really just all that stuff, you know, just uh, just the base running and the hitting and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, watching the, the posing pitcher more than I probably usually do. And, um, you know, other than that, probably, you know, not too much. So there it is, folks, as uh, Jeremy Hellickson looks forward to his season with the Diamondbacks in the NL. That's right. He's got to put the bat, he's got to get in the batter's box again, forget out running down to first base, get your webcam joined, uh, fired up. Join us like this fan right here. What's your name, where you're from? What's your question for Jeremy? Hey, Jeremy, it's Tim from New Jersey, and uh, I'd like to know who your favorite baseball hero was and why. Um, well, I really looked up to, uh, you know, Derek Jeter, you know, probably like the rest of the guys are, you know, around my age, you know, I wore, wore number two, played shortstop in high school. So, you know, I was always, always looking up to him, watching him. And, uh, you know, another was Greg Maddox is, uh, you know, once I started, uh, pitching and, you know, kind of, you know, realized that that was, you know, the, the position I would be playing, you know, kind of. Started watching videos on him and really, really watching him and, and seeing how he went about his stuff on the mound. Uh, there you have it, folks. Get some face time with your favorite pitchers like Jeremy Hellickson here in the Edward Jones chatting cage. Derek Jeter, Greg Maddox, two of the favorites. Uh, and Jeremy Hellickson, now a major league player, looking up at those guys. Now playing along, alongside one of them for just a short piece. And I go back now to Twitter. Eli Fishman, also known as Elfish Man Sport. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> What did it feel like, uh, Jeremy, when you were shut down for most of the season because of injuries? Um, didn't feel too good. You know, I didn't really, uh, honestly, I didn't really feel part of the team. Mm. You know, I missed, uh, you know, the first three and a half months, you know, and uh, it was really the first time I've been on the DL for, you know, an extended period of time and, um you know, I had to watch all our road games from my couch and, um, you know, just didn't get to be around the guys as, as much as I wanted or, you know, needed to be. So um, it wasn't, it wasn't you know, a very good time, but, you know, it was, uh, it was nice to get that taken care of and, and get healed up and, um, you know, 100% now. So, you know, it's, it's all good now, but, you know, the first three months last year weren't very fun at all. Uh, and I'm j I just want to sort of follow up on that. How are you feeling right now? What is it like for you to be back out there feeling uh, pretty good? Yeah, no, I'm, f I'm feeling 100 percent. You know, it's uh, back to back to feeling how I did, you know, my first few years. So um, just really looking forward to to getting this spring over with and, and starting the year. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. That's Jeremy Hellickson, starting pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, I'm JB. Get your webcams fired up. Join us right here on the show. Before we have to say goodbye, let him get back to his day. Uh, let's go back to Twitter. Jim the Bear 212 wants to know, what is your favorite city to travel to? Um, man, that's a couple. Um, we'll, take, we'll take a couple. Probably. Yeah, I'd probably say uh, Seattle, um, and then, uh, you know, L.A., and then I really like traveling back to the Midwest, just uh, just back home, and, you know, all my family, you know, they can drive to all those cities, so <laughs> it's always fun going back there, but 
Um, I probably must. My favorite is probably Seattle. Seattle, just, take uh, it. Just love the weather. Um, you know, just love playing there. It's, you know, a good time there. All right. Well, now we know it's the Pacific Northwest for Jeremy Hellickson. He's on the road. Or, or the Midwest, where family's at, so they can all get to the games. Two, two great, two very good reasons to travel, folks, family, and a uh, place you love to see. We have another fan in the cage with us right now. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question for Jeremy? Hey, guys. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, I'm Corey from Massachusetts. Uh, seems like you guys are a fun bunch. What's the uh, best prank that everyone's ever, anyone's ever played on you? Um, well, there hasn't been too many here yet, but... Um, commenter the other day, you know, he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't trying to get me, uh, in particular, but, you know, he put, uh, he decided to put the gold bond baby powder in the regular baby powder. And, uh, unfortunately I was the guy that, you know, used the regular baby powder after he put it in there. So, um, <laughs> needless to say, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, too happy after that, you know, took about five seconds for me to feel it and uh -huh. <laughs> it <laughs> had to hop in the shower real fast and <laughs> not exactly uh, the pleasant it wasn't, it wasn't feeling you were hoping for <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't yeah it wasn't as refreshing as i i thought it was going to be but it was pretty funny uh it's pretty funny now but at the time it was you know wasn't wasn't too funny all yeah, right then cole mentor goes on the short of, list kind of right away there for a little bit <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, right away. All right. Uh, before we say goodbye, I got one more, and this one uh, looks like uh, it's a great one. It's from Dice845 on Twitter, and he wants to know, I've been a fan since 06. What do you remember most about your days as a Hudson Valley renegade in upstate New York? Mm. Um, yeah, that was, uh, it was a long time ago. Uh -huh. But, you know, I remember uh, just, I just remember how uh, awesome the atmosphere was. Um, you know, I think we sold out every game, you know, to to be a, you know, just a short season team to get that many, that many fans. And, um, you know, just really enjoyed my time playing there with, you know, the atmosphere is awesome. Well, there you go, Dice845. Your question has been asked and answered right here in the Edward Jones chatting cage. That pretty much wraps things up uh, from here. Jeremy, uh, you got in the cage, took some hacks. How do you feel you did? Feel been good contact? Yeah, I feel like I did okay. <laughs> Some good questions. All right. Well, that's, the fans do a great job here in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Jeremy, I want to thank you for being with us. And fans, as always, I want to thank you for joining us on the show. And we'll see you on the next round of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage.